Yeah, check that out, bitch. <laughs> I was just kidding, guys. I'm just playing around with the, the animation thingies on my webcam. Um, <clears throat> for this week's topic is something that I've done that was so ridiculous, and now I can just look back and laugh about it. Well, I have a story, and I just want to just want to say something. I'm not like this person anymore. Um, I grew up a lot after this situation. Uh, let's see. Well, I was 18 years old, and me and my ex-girlfriend at the time. Um, we lost our jobs, we really didn't have a place to live, we were just, you know, not making any money, don't have any money, don't have anything to eat, uh, we were staying in her dad's trailer, old fucking trailer, with no water or electricity for the whole winter time, so it got extremely cold in there, and enough was enough. Um, I thought it would have been a good idea to go to Florida, because I have family up in Florida, uh, Jacksonville. And <clears throat> I figured, you know, they could, you know, help me and my girlfriend out and get back on our feet. Because uh, there's a lot of jobs out there. Um, so, we drove. I drove. And... Like I said, we had no money. How are we getting gas? Well, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I pumped and jumped. And if you don't know what that means, I stole gas. Um, I almost got caught a few times. I think I almost got caught in Mississippi? I'm not sure. Maybe Alabama. But we didn't. And... It got really late, and uh, so we parked in some kind of hotel's parking lot. We slept in the car, which sucked, but, you know, we were young and dumb, full of cum. <laughs> uh, um, anyways, so we finally got to Florida. We were in a small town called Madison, Florida. I've never heard of it before. Um, I still gas there. And it was like 70-something miles till we got to Jacksonville, and I knew my car would have made it. But I'm OCD. I gotta have a full tank of gas, because I don't like seeing it, you know, like a half a tank. I don't like it. I don't know why. It has to be at least full. Um, <clears throat> so, the clerk lady, she, I guess, got my tags or whatever, and we hit the freeway, and there was a straight, a straight, a state trooper, uh, parked under the bridge, and, you know, I was doing the speed limit, I was trying to play cool, no. Saw those blue lights, my heart started racing, my palms were sweating, I was shaking, I was trembling, I was, I was, I was freaking out, my, oh man, it was, uh, just hate getting pulled over, especially if you know, know that you've done something bad. So he was like, license and registration, sir, and I was like, okay, so... Gave him my shit, and he uh, said, get out of the car, let me search you. So they searched me. Uh, my girlfriend was 17, so she didn't get in trouble. I pretty much got the blame. I took the blame, which was stupid, because she deserves to go to jail. But that's a different story. Um, so they handcuffed me, and they told my girlfriend to drive my car to follow them to their, uh, to the police station, and, you know, 
when they were trying to find me a room and all that situation, get my shit and information, fingerprints, after all of that, you know, you see in movies where, uh, the boyfriend or husband and the girlfriend or wife are in that glass, glass thing, and they're like putting each other's hands to it and crying and shit, that's what we were doing, it was like a fucking chick flick up in there, and... <laughs> Um, I was crying because she was crying, and I was scared because it was the it was my first time going to jail. So it wasn't it wasn't mm, just the clothes they gave me this jumpsuit thing orange jumpsuit I think and it was like extra 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 large and me I'm like five foot one. And I was like a hundred and, I don't know, 110 pounds back then. So I was really little. So this thing is like a fucking, I don't know. It looked like, I looked like Jared that lost a lot of weight still wearing my big clothes. It was pretty ridiculous. Um, so everybody was asleep. And of course I was in the female cell. But, uh, the bed was hard as rocks. It was like a very thin mattress, and you, all you can feel is the damn springs. The pillows were made out of sandbags with a pillowcase. Alright, it's not even comfortable, and I have back problems. And the blankets were so thin, it was fucking cold in the jail. I mean, it was a huge jail. Um... And then I woke up, and all these weird women were, like, staring at me, and they're, like, looking at me, and I was, like, what? And they're, like, you're a female? And I'm, like, not technically, and they're, like, ooh, do explain. So I told them that I was trans, and they were really cool about it. Uh, they asked me questions and stuff, and one lady, she was, like, I knew there was just something about you, and I was, like, okay. And, yeah. And some lady, she was from South America, and she was in New... She was... I don't know. In America, I guess, to visit somebody, and she didn't have a ride or something. It's all twisted up. I don't know if she was lying or not. But, um... This guy that she was with, or giving her a ride, uh, he had a big suitcase, and it was like 10 pounds of marijuana or something like that, something big, and they got caught with this, so she's in jail, and she's like freaking out because she doesn't know anybody in America, really, I don't know, but... That, that, I look back and I realize how stupid I was, I was just... Flat out stupid. I mean, stealing's, you know, you think you're gonna get away with it. I mean, it's the adrenaline rush is awesome, but eventually you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get caught. And me being stupid and naive and young, you know, I thought once you do it, you don't get caught, you can keep doing it. You know, you think you're fly and awesome, and no, I was stupid. <laughs> but that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Um, so I guess I'll see y'all next week. Peace.